Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. This week's Fool is Nadine Zoari, the current Minister Without Portfolio. Here he appeared on the Sophie Ridge Show on Sunday where he called on nurses who have taken a pay cut over the last number of years and are asking for their wages to be increased to a level that doesn't just allow them to feed their families but will attempt to stop the numbers leaving the NHS completely. Wait till you hear Zuari's reason why they need to ignore reality. I would put it back to the unions themselves to say, one, we shouldn't be striking. <coughs> if you look at what uh, the uh, pay review bodies for the NHS recommended, we've accepted that recommendation. Uh, in fact, last year when pay was frozen, um, nurses got a 3% pay rise. They do an incredible job. Of course, I understand that. But to ask for 19% pay rise, which costs the NHS £10 billion, I think it's, it's the wrong thing to do right and now. I do want to come back on this as well, because, you know, you're talking about not chasing inflation. Mm. For lots of people who are on low pay jobs, they're not chasing inflation. They're trying to get a pay that is matching the cost of living because they're looking at their shopping bills going up. Mm. They're looking at their, their energy bills going up. They mm. want a pay to be reflecting how much more they're having to spend on things. It's and not about embedding inflation for them. It's about surviving. Of course, and absolutely, which is why uh, the Chancellor came to the dispatch box and delivered a £150 billion energy package. That, this, by the way, if you take that into equivalence, that's the equivalent of the whole of the NHS um, to support people's households, otherwise their energy bills would have uh, uh, spiked, to support businesses as well. Uh, the money we're putting into helping those most vulnerable, uh, the 8 million most vulnerable households, um, is significant. We have to come together. This is not a time to be divided, to, I hope, send a very clear message to Mr Putin that he can't use energy as a weapon in this way and we will remain united, which is why we've accepted, accepted the pay review bodies on I guess, the NHS uh, I guess and on schools. You know, a, a nurse others. on 20 grand a year, you, you would think that maybe there were other ways of sending Putin a clear message on Ukraine rather than the fact that you're going to have to well, no, have but, a real term pay cut. No, but we've accepted the, the pay review body on nurse. <laughs> this is insane. He sat there and said, well, nurses, you sort of have to s suck it up because we need to send a message to Mr. Putin. So nurses who are going home to a cold house because they can't afford to put on the heating, nurses who are going to food banks in order to feed their families and themselves. Yeah, these nurses just have to put that aside and think of the bigger picture. We need to send a message to, to this dictator in Russia. Is this guy serious? Now, there are a number of things of, I need to respond to that he brought up here. Um, apart from the fact that, you know, how has this got to do with, what has this got to do with nurses who can't afford to feed their families? We can't give them a pay rise because it would create inflation. Inflation exists at the moment. And most of this inflation is due to external factors, but also factors that the British government could do something about. One of these factors is Brexit. Now, no one wants to admit that, but Brexit is paying, it has, there's, a, there's a cost that people are paying, and part of that is, not all of it, of course, but uh, there's a part that is related to Brexit. Now, what's that got to do with Putin? Nothing. But he mentioned also about how, yeah, we've spent £150 billion pounds here, and eight, and 8 million people are covered, and stuff like this. But the question should always be, is it enough? Well, obviously, it's not enough. It's not enough if people are still going to food banks and people have started going to warm banks. Obviously, the, the money, there's no point talking about 100 million or 150 billion if it isn't enough. And also this in, uh, independent pay body that he's mentioned a few times, and you've heard it before from others. Independent as in it's appointed by Tory ministers or Tory MPs, they're the ones who decide who sits on this independent body. And the independent body suggested a 3% pay increase. But if inflation is at over 10% and the independent body suggests 3%, then that's a 7% pay cut. And nurses have been on uh, a pay freeze for some time now. So if they're asking for 19%, it's to bring them up to a level where inflation is currently at, or if you add inflation over the last number of years. So it's not really 
uh, unaffordable. It's unaffordable not to pay it. It's, and as I said, it's not just about helping these nurses feed their families and warm their homes. It's also about stopping numbers from leaving. Because if people can't survive while working as an NHS nurse, what are they going to do? They're going to look for another job, doing something else. And what does that do? It leaves the NHS uh, struggling to find staff. It leaves the existing staff with a higher workload, which will, of course, result in burnout, time off, sick, and, of course, uh, you know, su subsequent problems related to that. You need to do something. You need to encourage more into the industry. You need to encourage more by providing better pay and conditions. Um, you need to train up more. And, of course, you need to end this ridiculous idea of we need to control our borders by stopping people coming in that we need. So this is why, and of course back to the main point here that he raised, yeah we need to all work together to fight Mr. Putin. Uh, this is why he's our Fool of the Week. See you next time for our next Fool of the Week.